We've reached round two of the 2002 playoffs. Hawks, Cavaliers, Heat, Celtics, Lakers, Grizzlies, Clippers, Sonics. Those are the matchups. I am Nitty Sports Gamer. Welcome to another episode of the 40 Year Sim. Conference semis are underway. Lakers, Grizzlies, game one. Looks like the Lakers took care of business. 99 95 is the final score to that game. We're trying to get right into it. No delay. Let's get through these Celtics Heat. Celtics making it to the round two to the conference semis. A bit of a surprise, but they're here and ready to compete. Let's see if they can uh, give the Heat a real test here. Looks like the Heat will beat the Celtics. 112-95. First time uh, they're ever matching up in the in the playoffs in this sim. Sonics Clippers. Clippers are the one seed. Sonics are the five seed, I believe. And here it looks like the Sonics will beat the Clippers, 117.85. So Sonics get a 1-0 series lead. Cavaliers, Hawks. Cavaliers, early lead. Can the Hawks close in on it? Mm, oh, they did. Let's see. Let's we'll see what happens. Cavaliers, Hawks, Tim Duncan. Make it a basket for the Hawks, and I realize we really barely saw the Hawks in the last episode. As uh, Scotty Pippen has the ball, passing it to Reggie Miller for the jumper, and it's a one-point game. Dino Raja passing it to Duncan, who makes a basket for the Hawks. 4-12 left, Reggie Miller guarded by Allen Iverson. Miller makes the shot, draws the foul. Tie game at 99, AI dribbling. Well guarded by Reggie Miller, but he gets past him and makes a jump shot. And the Hawks break the century mark. 101-99. Tyrone Hill passing it to Scottie Pippen. A crucial addition to the squad. He makes the shot, draws the foul. 102-101. Kind of wish I had him join the Cavaliers a few seasons ago, but what can you do? Raja comes up with the ball there. And here's a three-pointer. That's good. I think that was AI with that three. It's a little tricky because there's two players with headbands on the Hawks. Bonzi Wells and AI. But I'm pretty sure that was AI. Tyrone Hill passing it to Scottie Pippen. Now Miller gets the ball. Makes a jumper. Tie game at 104. We got a close one here. Remaining close. With 142 left to go in the game, in the contest. We got Scottie Pippen for three. Pippen making threes. And the Cavaliers take the lead. Iverson loses the ball. Reggie Miller. Miller making the basket there. 109, 106. Check out a replay of Miller making the shot. 35 seconds left. 109, 108. Reggie Miller can't make that shot. Was that the best shot, shot selection? You be the judge. And, uh, well, you got Scully, uh, Chauncey Billups. Passing to Roger, then to Iverson. Iverson getting past Pippen. Draws the foul. Doesn't quite get past him, but does draw the foul. And Iverson misses the first free throw. Second one is good. So this is a tie game yet again. Are we going to get overtime? Are we going to get overtime here? Terrell Brandon. What say you? Nine seconds left to go in the game. Terrell Brandon. Better make a decision quick. He passes it to Pippen for three. Oh. That's a miss. And we got a tie game. It was a good look. It was a good look for Pippen. But he couldn't seal the deal. Pippen, or Reggie Miller, rather, gets the steal. Makes a shot there for the Cavaliers to start things off. Allen Iverson can't make the basket there. Kind of struggling. He made that three earlier, but he's been kind of struggling. Reggie Miller misses. Scotty Pippen with the tip in. It's a four-point game. Allen Iverson passing it to Tim Duncan. Can't make the shot, but gets the rebound and makes the dunk. Two-point game. Iverson will miss. Dell Davis with the rebound. Pippen 
trying to drive on Bonzi Wells. Nearly loses the ball. Pip into Reggie Miller for three. That's good. And the Cavaliers take a five-point lead. Is that enough of a cushion? Or can the Hawks do something here? Iverson with a floater. Back to a one-possession game. Hawks. Ensuing Hawks possession. Gets the screen from Duncan. Passes it to Duncan, who makes the shot. They become a nice, nice two-man, uh, nice duo. Let's just put it that way. Iverson, another screen. This time he makes a layup. That's a killer, a killer duo, a killer pick and roll that they got there. Now we got Brandon to Scotty Pippen for three. That might ice the game. It will. 125, 119. The Cavaliers come to Atlanta to beat. The Hawks by six in overtime. The Cavaliers. This, doesn't it feel like this year they mean serious business? They just feel like it feels like they mean business. You know, other times when they made the playoffs, it felt like they were just happy to be there. 108-90. Lakers beat the Grizzlies. They're up 2-0 now. Heat versus Celtics. Heat have a 1-0 lead over the Celtics. And it feels like the Celtics have reached uh I don't know, they've they've plateaued you know they, they made it this far and you know the, the lack of experience is showing as the hot as the heat took a 2-0 series lead there clippers sonics can the clippers tie this series up well for some reason we're stuck uh, at 65 50 i don't know what i was doing okay there we go there we go looks like the clippers will probably win this game Based on the fact they're up by 20 with four minutes to go. Yeah, this is over. 109.87. 109.87. So we got one uh, tied series there. Uh, Lakers are up 2-0. Heat are up 2-0. Let's see what happens in uh, game two here between the Cavaliers and the Hawks. Hawks got off to an early lead. Cavaliers keeping up, though. Then they take a lead. Back and forth. A lot of back and forth. Let's Let's jump in. 11.15 to go. Scotty Pippen with the jumper to start things off. 85-82 now. Chauncey Billups will make the layup for the Hawks. Allen Iverson, guarded by Reggie Miller, you know, yet again. Makes that shot for the Hawks. It's a five-point lead. Check out the replay of Allen Iverson doing his thing. I mean, Iverson, you, you, it's hard to not its hard to not imagine him in Philly, but he does kind of fit the Hawks, doesn't he? We got a Bosch alley -oop there. I think that's what that was try supposed to be. And we got Bonzi Wells making a shot for the Hawks to make it a seven-point lead for Atlanta. Allen, or <laughs> Scotty Pippen, I should say, passing it to Reggie Miller. For the jumper, five-point lead now for the Hawks, but here's Iverson making a layup pretty easily I might say he makes it look easy anyway can he do it again oh yes he can now it's a nine-point lead 740 left to go Allen Iverson guarded by Pippen interesting matchup Billups with the three it's good now it's a 12-point lead can the Cavaliers come back from this Dale Davis driving well guarded there by Duncan but he does make the basket eventually. 98-89. I hope you don't hear that car alarm in the distance. If you do, apologies. Raja makes that basket. Imagine if that was my car. <laughs> How stupid would that be if my, I didn't realize my car alarm was going off and I'm just doing a stupid 40-year sim business. Dale Davis makes a layup there for the Cavaliers. It's not my car. I'm almost, I'm like 99% sure it's not my car. Brandon... Misses the three. Hawks with the rebound. And we got Raja making the basket there. Drawing the foul. Brandon at the wing to Scottie Pippen for the corner three. Er, long two? Ten point game. I don't think the Cavaliers can come back from this, but we're seeing if it's possible. They get the rebound here. Okay. Reggie Miller guarded by Iverson and here's the basket there for the Cavaliers and here's a steal this is why we're still watching 
This game is over. The car alarm is off. Thank God that wasn't my car. Scotty Pippen with the layup there. 103-97. 103-98 actually. Duncan will miss the shot there. Gets the basket eventually. Seven point game can the Hawks uh, retake control of this game. Feels like they might because the Cavaliers are starting to miss some shots here. Iverson will make that basket. And that's about it. 112-100. The Cavaliers made it a little bit interesting there. But overall, the Hawks pretty much had that game in the bag despite that little rally the Cavaliers had in the middle there. But, uh, you know, I'm feeling a Scotty Pippen thumbnail. Did I already do that? I might have already done that, haven't I? Damn it. I should have I should have uh, saved a Scotty Pippen thumbnail for now because he's in the playoffs and all that. But, hey. Hopefully that's not my only option because I might have to do it <laughs> anyway. I might have to go with it anyway. Uh, Lakers Grizzlies, can we check out this series, please? Can we see a playoff game in Memphis? No, I, I, not for now. One twenty one hundred is the final score there. Forty nine for Kobe Bryant, thirty and fifteen for Shaq. That's a three zero series lead, folks. The Lakers. They're in the playoffs. They're always dangerous when they once they get here. It doesn't matter what the record is. They're 52 and 30 this year. Throw out the records because they are kind of on fire. They're kind they're kind of crushing right now. Celtics Heat. We can check out Celtics Heat. Can they? Can the Celtics prevent themselves from going down 0-3? Unlike the what the Grizzlies just did. Morning. Dunks the ball there, 86-85, 6 left to go in the game. We have Alonzo Mourning missing the shot, spinning after getting his own rebound and making the basket. Kenny Anderson will miss that three-point attempt. And the Heat get the ball back with five and a half left to go. Gary Payton, the glove, with the jumper, off glass. It's good. Three-point game. Gary Payton, guarded by Anderson, will make that shot. Five-point lead now for the Heat. See that replay of Gary Payton. Paul Pierce, the truth. Can't make the shot, but Brian Grant is right there for the putback. Three-point game. Celtics are not out of it. Ray Allen will make the basket. One-point game. Alonzo Mourning. Can't make the shot there. P.J. Brown gets the put back. 93-90. The truth can't make that basket fall. He get the ball back. Want to make it a two-possession game. Edwards to Peyton. That's a successful basket. Peyton, top of the key. Will drive. Get blocked by Brian Grant. Oh, my God. And that ball is out of bounds. We're going to get a replay of that. Yes, we will. That looked mighty good. He really got up there, Brian Grant did. Pretty impressive. 95 90, 130 left to go in the game. And Lonzo Morning has the ball. He's going to try and drive. No one can really match his size in this series. Brian Grant. Well, Brian Grant, I actually, they might be about the same height, aren't they? I'm not quite sure. Lamar Odom makes a three for the. Celtics, five-point lead. Celtics really need to make something special happen here because it feels like it's about over, but let's see what they can do. Luke Longley passing it to Paul Pierce, who will miss the shot. And, oh, wait, Luke Longley to Pierce. No, all right, we're done here. We're done here. And you know what that means. Sorry, Celtics. You are now down 0-3 in this series. 27 points for Kenny Anderson, 16 for Paul Pierce and Ray Allen, 12 for Lamar Odom, who made two threes in this game. That's pretty cool. Billy Owens had 10 points. Brian Grant had 6 points, 7 rebounds. Lonzo Morning at 28 points, 23 rebounds. And that is it. We have a potential uh, thumbnail here. I don't know. Gary Payton, maybe? Gary Payton. Have I? When's the last time I even had Gary Payton as a thumbnail? It's been a while, I feel like. I kind of like that one. He, yeah, might be all right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll look at them all later and decide. Sonics Clippers. Sonics. 
had a lead, but it's close. Let's jump in. We can't miss this series. We're, we pretty much have missed Grizzlies Lakers. We're, we're probably not going to watch that, but we don't want to miss this. Penny, Penny, Penny Hardaway. I almost said Penny Anderson. I don't know why. Uh, cause Kenny Anderson. That's why. That's so stupid. Um, Penny Hardaway making the jumper there, tying the game at 81. Hardaway again with the ball, missing the jumper. Divac though will not make that shot, but Chris Webber's right there for the dunk. Two-point lead for the Clippers. We have a missed shot, then a dunk again for Chris Webber. Chris Webber getting the rebound there after that missed free throw. And we got Larry Hughes to Divac. Good shot. Abdul Ralph missed the jumper. Chris Webber with the rebound. And we got the Clippers with the ball. Penny Harder with the dunk. Reverse slam. Seven and a half minutes left to go in the game. Sean Kemp dunks the ball over Divac. 89-84. Penny Hardaway can't make the jumper there. Chris Webber blocked by Sean Kemp. Fell oh my God, Kemp is really flying, but Divas does make that basket. Bruce Bone for three, can't make it. Sean Kemp, ever reliable. Sean Kemp with the basket there. Chris Webber though dunks it there. He's kind of getting the better of the match up there between Chris Webber and Sean Kemp. Chris Webber's kind of winning out. It feels like anyway. Penny Hardaway will make that three, and that is going to be big. Because it was a 10-point lead, now it's an 8-point lead. Bruce Bowen will make a shot there and make it a 6-point lead all of a sudden. How about Abdul Ralph? How about no? Penny Hardaway driving fast break points. He's going to make the basket and miss the foul, miss the free throw. Ugh. Isaac Austin. Dunks the ball there. Check out a replay of that. And now we got Larry Hughes to Penny Hardaway to LAU to Chris Webber. Eight point lead for the Clippers. They just might have control over this game. Rikasner will make the jumper there. He's been providing some crucial bench points for the Sonics, it seems. As we see a rebound by Sean Kemp, so don't count out the Sonics yet. This team has been to several conference finals. They went to the they went to the finals in '98. And Isaac Austin makes that basket for them. Four point game. Sean Kemp. No, I don't know what that was, but it was a miss. Penny Hardaway going the other way and gets fouled there by Bruce Bowen. A hard foul by Bruce Bowen, which he was known for back in the 2000s, for sure. But we haven't really seen many hard fouls from Bruce Bowen in this sim so nice to see it there miss free throw abdul ralph at the wing oh it's a steal going the other way lionel simmons with the basket that's it 103 96 is the final score i didn't even realize simmons was out there for the clippers i guess he was in there for Pedro sayakovic probably fouled out 25 and 20 for sean kemp in the loss 24 for abdul ralph penny harder with 27 and ooh, oh, yikes, uh, that had to be painful. As you see, uh, Vlad Divac impaled Sean Kemp through the face, through the head, while Sean Kemp made this dunk. It's, uh, you hate to see this, folks. You know, this is really, they really need to put a stop to this in the NBA. Impaling, folks, is just not cool. So maybe that's a thumbnail. <laughs> maybe that's the thumbnail, actually. <laughs> that might actually be the thumbnail. That'd be funny. 2-1-0 uh, series for the Clippers. Let's check out Hawks, Cavaliers. Cavaliers jump out to an early lead. Could the Cavaliers do this? Can they actually freaking do this? Scottie Pippen makes them a team that you can't count out, guys. 127-102. The... the the Cavaliers have a 2-1 series lead over the 62-win Hawks. I said 61 wins in the last video. Actually, 62. Grizzlies, Lakers, it doesn't really matter, but can the Grizzlies not get embarrassed? Survey says they won't. 113-105, they stay alive. 
for now. Heat, Celtics, on the other hand, I don't think we'll jump in. I don't really like jumping into a game when it's a 3-0 series. But the Celtics, they too will not get embarrassed. 110-97. So they win that game at home. So no one, nobody gets swept. Nobody gets swept. Can the Sonics tie the series? Game four? Looking close. Looking like a jump, if you ask me. So let's do it. Clippers. Supersonics. Sean Kemp. Guarded by Pietkowski. That's not a good matchup for the Clippers. Kemp makes that basket. Unfazed by the impalement that he had in the last game. Abdul Ralph. Shot clock winding down. Passing it to Isaac Austin for the basket. Sonics miss Sean K uh, Rick Smith, but Isaac Austin's been a, a, a pretty solid substitute this season as we see Vladi Diwach making a basket there. 89-85. Pietkowski, why is he in the game? I'm not quite sure. Larry Hughes fouled out, maybe? I don't even know. But Chris Weber will make that shot. Actually, I actually think Larry Hughes is in the game, so I'm not quite sure he's in. I'm not quite sure why he's out there, guys. I think he's gone, actually, so it doesn't matter. Great. Actually, you know what? It's because it was there were several minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. He's probably just a part of the bench. So I should stop freaking out about it. Isaac Austin making that shot for the Sonics. We got Sean Kemp making that basket for the Sonics. Making it a five-point game now after the free throw. Now we have Doug Overton. Doug Overton making an appearance. Passing to Chris Weber. to turn around. Make that shot for the Clippers. Three-point game. Sean Kemp, guarded by Weber, makes a shot. 96-92 now is the score. Stojakovic can't make that free throw. You got, I think it's Spencer, Elmore Spencer? Felton Spencer? I think it's Elmore Spencer with the rebound. Abdul Ralph with the ball. We're seeing all kinds of players in this game. Spencer's in there making a shot. As long as the bench players are contributing in a positive way, I guess. Stojakovic makes the three. 98-95. We got a made free throw for the Sonics. Four-point game. Overton. Will throw the lob to Chris Weber. It's Lob City. Clippers. De a decade before Chris Paul and Blake Griffin. How about that? Here's a basket for the Sonics. 101-97. Doug Overton. <laughs> he's, he's wearing Chris Paul's number two. I just realized that. Uh, Larry Hughes with the three. Making it a one-point game. 144 left to go. Peja Stojakovic will jab step. And missed the shot. Divac with the rebound and the basket. 102-101. Abdul Ralph. To Rikasner, is that? I mm, think so. Maybe. Or maybe not, actually. Rebound Clippers. And we got Divach with a basket there. 104, 101. Okay, yeah, that is Rick. 22 is Rikasner. Yeah, Isaac Austin with a basket there for the Sonics. 104, 103. Stojakovic hesitates, drives, throws up a shot, misses it. Churchwell. Oh, Churchwell's 32. Okay, Churchwell for Kasner. Churchwell for three! No! Rebound Clippers. Are the Sonics going to foul? Yeah, the TK. I don't, really don't know how to avoid that. Because really they shouldn't foul, but they do. I'm, I'm used to it at this point. Chris Weber making the free throw. The first one. And the second one. And that's it. 109-103. The Clippers beat the Sonics in Seattle, tough, tough road game for them, but they pull through. They win by six. 3-1 Series Z for the Clippers. And now we'll check out this game, Hawks, Cavaliers, or we'll at least simcast it. I don't know if we'll actually be able to jump in. Uh, never mind. I guess we will. 76-76 is the score. 10-22 left to go. Tim Duncan with the basket there for Atlanta. Iverson to Billups for the layup. Four-point game. Check out the replay of Chauncey Billups doing his thing. Tim Duncan making that shot over. I think that's Terrell Brandon guarding him for some reason. 
How about uh, Bonzi Wells, Tim Duncan, the, the Hawks. Feels like they aren't messing around this time. Reggie Miller for three. Sinks it. Cavaliers aren't messing around either. Raja, though, the, the, ha the Cavaliers defense. I don't know what they're doing. Iverson blowing past Reggie Miller for the layup. Then we got Reggie Miller with the jumper. That's nice, but you got to stop this Hawks team. Unable to stop Tim Duncan there. Nine-point game. Chauncey Phillips gets the screen. Drives. Pump fakes, makes a shot. 11-point game. That's it. 104-96, the final score there. So this might be a 2-2 series tie, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, ah, the screen went by too quickly. I couldn't tell, but I think it is a 2-2 series tie. Grizzlies, Lakers. Can the Grizzlies win this game? I don't think I would jump in. I'll jump if it, if they end up making it a three three series. I think I'd jump in then, because uh, then it'd be interesting. But most likely Lakers will win that series, even though Grizzlies, Grizzlies just won two straight. He Celtics. Meanwhile, I don't think we'll jump into this one. We won't. Celtics eliminated. 103-100. The Miami Heat are going back to the conference finals. They were there last season. 2001. We'll see if they if we're gonna get a rematch between uh, the Hawks and the Heat. Meanwhile, the Clippers are going. The Clippers are going to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in franchise history. That's big. That is a milestone in the sim. We did it, folks. Uh, Hawks Cavaliers. Two-two series tie. Could we get a jump here? Or are the Cavaliers going to win? They will. 123, 111. So the Cavaliers are up 3 2 to the Hawks. And now here, let's see. Lakers take care of business. Are we going to get a game seven? I don't think we're going to get a game seven. We're not getting a game seven. Really unfortunate. We, were, we weren't able to see a single game in this series. That sucks. But we got Lakers Clippers in the conference finals. Yes! Let's check out Hawks Cavaliers. Hawks. Um, will win game six? Yes, they will. 115 99 is the final score there. 3 3 series tie. We're going to game seven. Cavs, Hawks. Who will be the victor here? Will we get a jump? Yes, we will. Oh boy. Are you nervous? Let's see what happens here. 79-78. Billups with the basket for the Hawks there. Three-point game. Five and a half left to go. Scotty Pippen. Pass to Reggie Miller for the basket there. One-point game. Allen Iverson with a layup. 83-80. Jumper. Cavs. Count it. I think that was, uh, that was Terrell Brandon. One point game now. Dino Raja to Tim Duncan. Basket no good. Cavaliers with the ball back. And we got Scotty Pippen. Driving, passing it to Brandon. Brandon dribbling at the wing. Passing it to Tyrone Hill. Hill to Pippen. Shot clock winding down. Pippen will pull up. Missed a shot there. Hawks still up by one. Less than four minutes left to go, and Iverson has an easy path. Draws the foul. Easy path to the rim, but can't make the layup. He does get two free throws, though. Makes the first one. Second one is no good. But Roger gets the rebound. Ball back in Iverson's hands. He passes it to Billups. 348 left to go. Chauncey Billups driving, guarded by Brandon. Billups pump fakes to Bonzi Wells for the shot. No good. Rebound Cavaliers. Terrell Brandon to Reggie Miller. Can't make that jumper. Might have been a three. I don't know if his foot, his foot might have been on the line. I'm not sure. Allen Iverson to Billups to Tim Duncan who oh my god almost ran out of bounds there that would have not been not been a good idea Scotty Pippen with the steal though 
and Pippen will miss the shot. No, dude. No. Damn. They had a chance to tie it there with three minutes left. Allen Iverson will miss the shot. Cavaliers ball yet again. Can they tie this up? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's getting mighty tense in Atlanta. Scotty Pippen to Tyrone Hill to Terrell Brandon. He will make this shot. They will tie the game up at 84. Iverson, though, he gets the dunk. That was a little too easy for him. Where is the rim protection? Missed shot by Reggie Miller. Hawks, ball. Iverson with the basket and the foul. Wow. That was big. Iverson at the free throw line. He'll make that free throw. It's a five-point game. 125 left to go. It's, there's still a chance. Brandon can't make the shot. Roger with the rebound. Hawks fans get up on their feet. Billups dribbling at the elbow. Pass to Tim Duncan. Back to Billups. To Iverson. Guarded by Miller. Gets past him. Makes the shot off glass. And that might be the dagger that does it. Reggie Miller, though, will make three there. Okay. Iverson to Tim Duncan. To Allen Iverson yet again. Double teamed. Pass to Raja. He finds the open man. Double dagger. That's it. Cavaliers. They That was as close as they've ever come to the conference finals. Man. Hawks, Heat, Clippers, Lakers. That's going to be a banger of a conference finals. Can't wait to unleash it. Can't wait to show it to you guys. That's next episode. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will check you out next time. That's all.